check out the uh, Accord Coupe. It's actually my favorite model in the current Honda lineup. And Honda completely redid the Accord for 2013, both this is Coupe and the Sedan, of course. So let's go ahead and check out some of the improvements they've made. Have projector beam headlamps. And this one has these LED running lights, fog lights, honeycomb grill with a chrome surround. This one has the uh, Nighthawk black exterior, 17 inch alloy wheels, with gray painted accents. Now, this is an EXL V6 with navigation, 2132 is your fuel economy. This one stickers at 33,140. Pretty striking design for an Accord. And around back, these sporty looking taillights and large oval exhaust tips and a chrome accent along the bottom of the bumper. V6. Resembles the 8th generation Accord, but it's also very new and very modern. Some big changes have been made on the interior, so let's go ahead and check that out. A perforated black leather interior. Nice gauge cluster with red accents. Faux so uh, carbon fiber, fiber sort of, on the door panels and dashboard, silver painted plastic, can be power windows and mirrors, memory seats, also your lane departure and warning, and your econ button. Also right here you have a button to turn on the lane watch camera, it also uh, automatically uh, activates when you turn on the right turn signal. Have a leather wrapped steering wheel, controls your iMid display, and also the Accord no. Coupe comes with a red theme on the iMid and on the radio, whereas the sedan has a blue uh, and black color scheme. It's a nice attention to detail. Trip computer. Zero, zero, one, XM, preview. I'll say a touch screen zero, stereo one, right down XM, here. Preview. Zero, zero, one, XM, preview. Have a navigation display as well. Nicely protected from glare with this quite large uh, shroud. Metallic plus black surround on the stereo. All the cords come with dual-zone automatic climate control. You have your temperature along the sides, display in the middle, and also all your uh, fan and zone controls. Also, several chrome accents throughout. The navigation controls are down here. Typical Honda controller with your navigation, phone, and front audio buttons. And your rocker, wheel, and enter button. Let's have a button to switch between the day and night modes on the display. Or just turn the display off completely. Aux and USB are located right there. Also a power outlet, a small storage bin. Now this EXL comes standard with le uh, heated seats for the front. You can save a leather up shift knob and a gloss black accent around the shifter. Two cup holders with a chrome surround. Kind of small center console. The leather wrapped armrest with stitching throughout the middle. Push button start. Decent size glove box. Not lined or anything, but it is dampened. Very comfortable seats. Just a beautiful interior. I do have a power moonroof, sunglasses holder, dome lights, home link, visors. Now, even though it, it is a coupe, it's still an Accord. So let's check out how the back seat is. Pretty good size. Like I said, considering this is an Accord, it should be pretty spacious back here. And it's not bad for a coupe. 
Sadly, there's no padded armrest, it's just hard plastic. But if you buy the coupe, you're not going to use the back seat a whole lot. Absolutely gorgeous interior. There's no perforation on the uh, on the rear leather seats, just on the front. Pretty good sized trunk. Also, you have folding rear seats. This comes with Honda's new smart key entry system. So if you have a key fob on you, you can simply just press this button and the trunk will open. There's also controls on the door handles to lock and unlock the doors once the uh, key fob is within range of the vehicle. Now there is a 2.4 liter inline 4 cylinder available. This one has the optional 3.5 liter V6. It's from Honda's J series lineup of engines. It features Earth Dreams technology and IV tech. 276 horsepower. This one has a 6 speed automatic transmission, but in the coupe, you can get this engine with a 6 speed manual as well.